about the research so if you want to know more about me you can follow me on the youtube like scientist star academy channel okay so behalf of uh, spirotech and the uh, microbial site of india we are going to arrange uh, one webinar on 27th september the timing is 10:30 to 11:30 am so you can join over here the topic is how to establish spirular industry and i will share the all details with your ma'am so you can uh, take the registration details from your ma'am so spirotech healthcare like future of healthcare which is based uh, in the uh, mahaikao deshmukh taluka kopargaon district and this is our website and this is gmail id and you can follow us on the twitter facebook and the instagram okay so this, these are the some products what we have now let's start with our main lecture that is spiruna so spiruna is a primitive organism originating some 3.5 billion years ago that has established the ability to utilize carbon dioxide dissolved in sea water as nutrient source for their reproduction Now we know that what is pyrolun and all that stuff because it is a primitive organism which is originated around 3.5 billion years ago. So see uh, what is the birth of this uh, pyrolun and still we don't have that much research on this pyrolun. It is a photosynthesizing blue green algae that grows vigorously in strong sunshine under high temperatures and highly alkaline conditions. Now here if you are if you are going to study this pyrolun, if you are going to establish the industry of pyrolun, then we have to keep in mind that it is a photosynthetic organism so it is photosynthetic means we have to provide the water sunlight and all the all stuff to them and the most important thing is the temperature and the high alkaline conditions in the 16th century when the spanish invaders conquered the mexico they discovered that the existing living in the valley of mexico in the capital tenochtitlan were collecting a new food from the lake and that time only the spiruna came into exist with a human being now let's see what is the morphology of spiruna and it is a symbiotic in nature it is a multicellular okay and it is a filamentous a blue green microalgae with symbiotic bacteria that picks nitrogen from it now we know that what is symbiotic okay multicellular means it is a eukaryotic organism it is a filamentous now we know filamentous nature of algae it is a blue green microalgae it is a blue green microalgae with symbiotic bacteria that fix nitrogen from air so this pyrolun also helps in the fixation of nitrogen which is present in there they can be spiral rod or disc shaped now we have to focus on the uh, somewhat shape that they are spiral they are rod or they are disc shaped now, according to their shape they are spiral that's what their name is a pyrolun the main photosynthetic pigment which is present in this pyrolun that is phycocyanin now here which is the most important pigment which is used in the many products many industrial products that is phycocyanin pigment and which is purified from the spirulina which gives blue color to the spirulina this bacteria also contains chlorophyll a and carotenoids some contain the pigment phycoerythrin giving the bacteria a red or pink color they are photosynthetic and therefore they are autotrophic as i told you the spiruluna are photosynthetic organisms and that's what they are autotrophic uh, in nature they reproduce the binary fission now we know that what is binary fission binary fission is the process where the spiruluna <laughs> reproduce themselves by the uh, by engulfing or not engulfing actually by giving by giving the mesosome inside them and here the fts z protein involves the most important role in the binary fission However, cyanobacteria have cell wall similar to gram-negative bacteria. Have you know the gram-negative bacteria nature? So their cell wall is like that only. They contain peptide like an lysozyme, um, sensitive sensitive heteropolymer that confers shape and other structures too. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to move on the composition. Now see this. Why this pyrolunna is taking is lacking behind? It's because we don't have that much research area, or we don't have that much researchers who are working on the pyrolunna. And the most important thing, like they have very good composition as compared to other other living foods or other, other any artificial food, as we say. Now nowadays we know that we are eating so much, so much, uh, like 
pizza burger and all that stuff from this food we are not getting anything we are not getting anything but still we are eating to to like uh, to just enjoy our body to just enjoy our tongue uh, that stuff so but <laughs> at some point that the spiral ring has very good composition if you see it so it contains proteins vitamins minerals pigments essential fatty acids so these proteins vitamins minerals pigments and essential fatty acids no these are very important for body health not only our health they are also important for the uh, animals health also like cow cows and all that stuff because see we have a uh, we have we have we, we took many trials on this that's what we are we are in the market from like 2 years because because like uh, like our product is growing like as like anything because we are doing we are doing research as far as possible we are taking grants from the uh, we are taking grants from the government and all that stuff so in that we are taking so much interest that's what the government is also supporting us why because we then government knows very well that our uh, like our society is not going back as far as food is concerned because our society is going towards the pizza and burger which is a very useless food very useless food so here we are we are promoting this island for as a food as a feed too if you see the production of spirulina at lab scale which is most important one okay so mainly herbal agar media is used for this one and the sterile conditions are also used for this one okay now what are the sterile conditions are there the sterile conditions oh i think something went wrong my slide is not working good Okay, wait. I I'll I'll take here it because my slide is working, not working good at slide show maybe. Okay, so spirulina platensis was procured from the like see now here I am going to explain you how we can do the production of spirulina at labs labs not in the industry scale or lab scale, just in the labs. So spirulina platensis, what we have in our industry, what we grow in our industry. Okay, so procured this spirulina uh, platensis from. Spirotex, that is our company only. So it, that culture is maintained on this Harugas Agar media slants at four degrees Celsius. Lufula spirulina culture was inoculated in 50 ml flask containing 10 ml sterile SM medium. That is the uh, okay SM medium. That is okay. So all the reagents used were analytical grade obtained from the Rankum chemical. This corporate. See, so whatever the chemicals we have, that all chemicals are obtained from the Rankine chemicals. And if you are going, if we are going to grow the uh, spirulina in our lab, so we have to use all these chemicals from there only because we have collaboration with them, right? So collaboration work is always good as compared to other work. So whatever uh, chemicals we have, we are already procured from them only. Okay, and what are the culture we have? That is, first time we procured from uh, itself from the Maharashtra. Okay, nowadays we have culture in most what is called in most quantity. If somebody wants that culture, we can provide them. And if somebody wants any our product, we can deliver them product also. So here, a uh, production of spirulina is we can we can carry out at lab scale with the help of the Harak Sagar Media Slants. Okay. and we can go for the therox medium which is uh, actually used for the small scale production in the lab but while doing this production while growing the spirulina in lab we have to maintain we have to maintain some conditions as like temperature ph okay not only temperature and ph we have to maintain the uh, like other conditions including light because light is most important factor as far as the spirulina growth is concerned because as i told you spirulina is a photosynthetic organism and if you are growing the spirulina in the dark condition so how can they grow isn't it they can't grow right so we have to maintain the spirulina uh, conditions as well as their <coughs> other factors also okay now harvesting and processing okay now how how after growing after if if we uh, if we got the 
good culture growth of the uh, spirulina then after that how we can harvest this spirulina how we can process this spirulina further for the for our product preparation or for the any different uh, sub product preparation so first step is the filtration and the cleaning so here a nylon filter at the entrance of the water is used okay now see first step is the filtration and the cleaning what we have to do whatever the spirulina is grown in our tank or whatever the spirulina is grown in our uh, like small scale in the flask that spirulina we have to filter it first with the help of nylon filter water filter you have but that filter should be uh, what do you say that sterile in nature because this this is a, a herbal product what we say herbal product or this is a natural product so there should not be any contamination if contamination comes means our product will be uh, going hell only because then they will say they will show like very harmful effects on the human body as well as animal body those are taking it so we have to maintain this sterile condition very important one that first filtration and cleaning afterwards we have to go for the pre concentration now here to obtain alkyl biomass which is washed to reduce salts content okay now pre concentration means what whatever the algal biomass we have obtained that algal biomass we have to wash we have to wash to reduce the salt concentration now see the salt content is there on the algal biomass why it is there because we have already grown this spirulina in the salt content water as i told you the alkaline ph okay so <laughs> alkaline ph is required for the growth of spirulina so it means what the whatever the spirulina is grown in the media that spirulina is with the is with the what is with the high salt content so we have to reduce the salt so for that purpose we have to do the pre concentration means for simply we have to wash that spirulina uh, growth the next concentration now here what we have to do to remove the highest possible amount of interest uh, interstitial water which is located among the filaments now it is also the one important step what we have to do here whatever the amount of water is there inside the spirulina that we have to uh, we have to remove by the process known as concentration now here also we can go for the simple water simple water and the simple water it not means that we have to go for the tap water or anything else we have to go for the sterile water here also because we know that as far as any industry is concerned uh, there we have to use the sterile water itself okay so i am i am like working as a auditor also so whenever i am going for the audit and all that stuff in bangalore like uh, in tiruvananthapuram also i came so there i saw the big companies like cipla and all that reddy labs also so they use like very uh, sterile water so you know that there are in, in the industry total 7 to 10 types of water is used we know that only bisleri and other stuff okay apart from that there seven to 10 types of water is used in the industry actually we have total six types of water in our industry at uh, spirotech cells there so that much care is taken to uh, to the establish the product to establish the product or to grow the product or to filter the product or to the harvest and process the product so water is the most important factor as far as the harvesting and processing is concerned okay so next process is the neutralization after concentration we have to go for the neutralization where we have to neutralize the biomass by the addition of acid solution next disintegration now here to break down the trichomes by the grinder now see we know that the uh, when the spirulina grows on the water no uh, i am talking i am talking in the large scale okay so whenever it grows in the large scale that time it grows as like a filament structure as like a very big structure okay as like as like lawn so that lawn we have to cut that lawn we have to cut for that purpose the uh, like uh, many methods are used when we do the concentration of this spirulina after that we have to go for neutralization right after neutralizing we have to go for the disintegration that disintegration we have to carry out by the grinder why the disintegration work is most important see because whatever the spirulina we have that spirulina we have to uh, we have to use for the different types of products like uh, we can go for the tablets formation or we can go for the any chocolate preparation now see in our company we are preparing the chocolate we are preparing the laddu also you know the laddu okay spirulina laddu is there spirulina laddu spirulina chocolates are there spirulina cadbury we have so for that purpose we have to go for the disintegration like disintegration means what we can say like uh, we can uh, convert it to fine powder like that so it's very most important step next 
tabular dehydration by spray dry. Now dehydration, as I told you, pyrolona we are going pyrolona in the water tank, so it means what they contain high water. So that water we have to remove from the pyrolona, known as dehydration thing. And this dehydration is carried out by the spray dry. Now here the operation has great economic importance since it involves 20, 30, 10 uh, percent of the production cost. Now see the production cost uh, cost word <laughs> word I involved here. Because see, uh, as I told you, the seven to ten types of water is used in the industry for the any product. As like that, as like that, whenever the any industry is running, like any there may be any product, there may be any product. So for that to work, product flow during from the preparation of that product or for, from the production of that product up to the marketing, up to the marketing, the everything is depends on the production cost. Okay, if, if you if we have the production cost is very if your production cost is very high and your marketing setting is very low, then there is no business at all. There is no business at all. And as far as pyrolona industry is concerned, uh, we have to be we have to behave as like mature person as far as production cost is concerned. Because nowadays, like the uh, our society is not that much grown, that not that much matured. Uh, 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 like the two words is pyrolona culture because pyrolona, as I can say. So. <coughs> Sorry. So this pyrolona has actually, as I told you, it, it, the composition of pyrolona is very much greater. It has protein, vitamin, fatty acids, and all that stuff. It has it, it, it contains around 60% of protein. But still, we are not eating pyrolona. Like see, whatever like my family and, and like uh, other like like where our products are going, they are taking pyrolona three tablets per day. If you see them, no, like uh, it is like. Uh, anything like you can imagine oh they are so much talented those they are so much well established so we have to we have to provide the many protein essential things to our body then and then we can grow very well and in the in the lockdown we got that we got that like how to behave with our body itself if we are behaving very bad with our bodies and then our body itself reacts very bad with ourselves so we got that in the lockdown that how to behave with our body and how to behave with the nature also because corona is everywhere that's what we are at the home next packing so after dehydration uh, we have to go for the packing it is usually in the sealed plastic bag stored hydroscopic condition now see uh, we know that if you are if we are if we are going to sell our product in the market obviously each and every industrialist have to sell their product in the market because they are made they are mean for mean for that only so for that purpose, we have to go for the packing. And during packing, you know, what you have to remember, like which which um, methods actually, which methods or which um, materials we have to use for the pack. This is most important when if you are using the plastic or if you are using the glass, if you are using the any type of material, first have to do research on that. As far as pyrolona is concerned, now we have done plenty of research on that. Like we have to go for the plastic bags, and we have to go with the bottles, or we have to go with any like preservatives. We did so much research on that. Okay, so we got also we got uh, grants from the government. So I always thanks to government, Indian government. We we got grants from them. So they have supported to us a lot. So that's what we are doing. We are doing uh, very great in our business. So as far as the uh, packaging is concerned, we have to very uh, we have to take precautions. This one, then storage. So it is stored in the fresh, dry, only space free and hygienic storerooms to prevent spirulina pigments from deteriorating. Now see, this is very important one: the deterioration of spirulina pigment, because everything is there only. Uh, spirulina, the uh, what you say that spirulina pigments are the most important one, most useful one. As far as spirulina uh, is concerned, because if you don't have spirulina pigment in our product, then it is useless. Then it is useless. So we have to maintain the uh, spirulina pigments from the deterioration. Okay. So uh, this was all about the spirulina morphology and the production and the uh, processing and the, all that stuff. Now this is a simple diagram. We can say we can say the flow diagram or flow chart or flow, flow tree of spirulina production. Let's see. How it goes okay so at first it's a nutrient salt and this nutrient salt and this uh, 600 meter depth of groundwater if you are <coughs> if this 600 depth uh, groundwater 
is for the big ponds okay big ponds if i using the big pond then and then you can go for this one if somebody if somebody uh, want to do the or want to establish the cyber industry they can contact us and we are helping them to grow themselves uh, and to grow spiral also because we are looking looking forward uh, to grow spiral all over the world because government is also helping us like people are, people are also helping us so it is very great opportunity uh, for the students they can do projects and all that stuff also so here nutrient source and the we have to add the culture medium about around the 600 depth of the ground water and here we have to add the each and everything in the ground water now let's see how it goes now first runway vegetation now see as i told you the production and me see i think you are bsc student so you know very well that how to do or how to what to say that how to grow the microorganisms or bacteria at lab you know very well so while growing we know the what conditions they have to we have to maintain now we know that in lab how we are dealing with the media how we are dealing with the microorganism i, I know that okay whenever i visit like um, not in the laudan not in the laudan i'm visiting to anywhere or any college or any industry but before lockdown and after lockdown also i'm going to visit the colleges and universities as a guest lecture so that time i saw the, how the students are dealing with everything okay so actually they have to be very careful about the, each and everything the microbes the chemicals and everything because still they are like as i always say that they are the not to say that is the birth of their birth no? bsc biotechnology bsc microbiology is the birth of biotechnology we can say because before that nowadays nowadays the syllabus is growing like if you see the 12th and 12th syllabus biology it's growing nowadays so before that when i studied like in 2009 10 you know, that time the syllabus was not that much good if i talk about the ma'am ma'am also ma'am also can agree with me that that time the syllabus was not that much good not we can say it not that much like uh, content was not that much uh, technical what the students have now so we have to be very careful about this technical technicality uh, as far as the microbes are concerned so here agitation is most important part while the growing while growing the spirulin okay then spirulin liquid collection then wash then concentration and the dewatering spray drying sieving quality inspection and spirulin powder now see here now this stuff now this stuff is for the growth of spirulin as i told you how to grow spirulina how to identify them how to do filtration how to do collection and all that i told you okay now once you got the spirulina then most important thing that you have to go for the quality inspection we have quality control department and we have a biotechnologist there those are working with us okay okay so they are doing the quality uh, they are checking the quality of our product whatever product we are preparing they are checking the quality that quality have to meet now see uh, <coughs> whatever the Uh, quality water is spiral and we have that spiral uh, now have to with a good quality okay and we are not adding any chemicals uh, in the spiral now whatever we are putting they are totally natural okay so that's what we have to maintain the quality of the uh, spiral now now here the quality inspection is most important and the biotechnologists or the microbiologists can do this we have uh, analytical department also where the analytical chemistry people are working those are doing the chemical analysis of the spirulina because while the spirulina is considered as a food or as a feed we have to maintain the quality okay then spirulina powder if you got a spirulina powder we can go for the packaging and storage otherwise we can go for the pressing and the pressing means what we can go for the tablet if you want to prepare the tablets then we can we have to go for the pressing as everyone knows that how how we can prepare the tablets because youtube is there and on youtube or on the social media we can see everything so everybody knows that how to how to uh, do or how to prepare the tablets after preparation of tablets we can go for the packaging and storage then afterwards we can go for the marketing so this is a simple uh, diagram of the spirulina cultivation production okay now next applications now this is very important part applications of this spirulina now see as i told you like uh, we are always foodie okay i am also foodie i am also foodie okay i have this i always eat different different types of food but i never take pizza and burger and all that stuff 
because i know that it is not that much good as compared to health is concerned okay so uh, spirulina is the most important one as far as nutritional supplement is concerned because see all over india we are we are selling our product so many uh, what to say that gym gym those guys are doing gym they are utilizing our product okay so why they are utilizing because they know the value of the spirulina and why see we know that there are in the market there are many products they are in the market there are many products those are t- telling that they are like very pure in nature supplement i am talking about this protein supplement i am not going to take any brand name here but we we know very well okay those are doing gyms and all that stuff so but these proteins these supplements are too much bad in nature because if we see their structure their composition that it is so much hectic it is so much disturbing disturbing no because they are using they are using many chemicals there they are using many different chemicals those are very harmful to our body because see these proteins and all that what are the mar- in the markets are there now these are these are good for good for some time these are good for some time they can show us muscles and all that stuff but after some time no they will show us disadvantage they will show, show the effects on our body so that time we are going to say that okay oh why we took that no why we took that why we, why we uh, uh, like ate that so it is very uh, it is very good time that now we have to decide that what we have to take and what we have to not take okay so last year i, I got arranged one uh, competition in maharashtra itself for the nutri that was depends on that was that was depend on the nutrition okay what what nutrition or what food we have to take or what food not we have to take so that con- uh, that uh, competition i, I got arranged uh, so all over india i got very good response so many that time i realized that the students are aware of it. students like they they knows how to what to eat and what not to eat so that time i came to know that okay we have to uh, we have to uh, reach up to the each and everyone with the spider because it is very good one as compared to other food is concerned that's what it is used as a nutritional supplement next one food source now we know that as i told you as i told you like uh, as uh, don't eat don't eat that pizza burger and all that stuff they are not giving anything to our body just they are increasing our fats and fat they are like according to me they are proteinous is less uh, food so they are very good uh, this one supplements uh, protein supplements like uh, spirulina they are very uh, good in nature as a food source they are also used as chelating of toxic minerals okay they are also used as a immuno modulatory property now see in corona time we got good business actually in corona time we got good business because uh, protein spirulina is very much uh, important product as far as the uh, immune immune uh, modulatory property is concerned because in corona we have to maintain our body very strong right maintain our body very strong because we, we know we don't know the, when the corona where, where, from where the corona will come in our body and all that stuff because we are daily uh, day in daily time with many people right so we don't know who is positive who is negative and all that stuff in this case what we can do in this case just simply we can take the supplementary and all that stuff to boost our immune system because we know that the corona is so much uh, effectively acting on the uh, on the people or on the person those have very less immunity system or those have lay very uh, what you say that um, decreased immune system so how we can increase our immune system to by taking this uh spirulina food stuff or by taking the natural or herbal food stuff we can increase our immunity system or we can boost our immunity system so that's what that's what like uh, like last month we got one project from the dsp that uh, uh, effect of spirulina or effect of spirulina on the corona but that project is still under process we are working on that very fast so next spirulina in building red blood cells and cells as i told you like it is the most important one as far as the immune system is concerned and we have to maintain our system very strong so this vitamin helps to maintain the immune system especially in the red blood cells and the skin so it now works as a antiviral ability antiviral as i told you now we uh, now that I, we got project from the government that we are working on that that spirulina against the effect of spirulina on the corona virus so we are working on that and let's see how it goes and we are we are so much positive about that okay next is biomineralization activity now we know the what is biomineralization all that stuff so spirulina is most important there 
they enhance the reproduction of activity now see the reproduction is the most important one as far as animals humans are concerned now we are hearing daily news the news that reproduction like uh, uh, somebody don't have child or somebody uh, somebody like they are trying from 10 years 15 years for the child but they are not uh, getting them because of because of the reproduction problem right in the animals also we are getting the cows or we are getting any animals so there are so many problems right so actually we got proved that we got proved that those are don't have child or those who don't have baby we we proved that We do the practical. Practical means what we 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 did one research study with the help of Paluna and with the help of that <coughs> that reproduction activity. And we actually we we got very good results. If you are if you are uh, searching or surfing our website, then you may get research papers over there, or you can find out the research papers on on the Google itself by my by my name. So we we got very good activity in the reproduction activity. Paluna as a colorant. Spirulina as a food also. You see, the spirulina is not only uh, we can use as a food, but we can use as a food also because we are for the milk production, for the maintaining health, for the reproduction activity of the animals. We have to go for the natural products. Okay. Now these are some opportunities. The most important uh, heading of this uh, webinar that is the opportunities. Now we know that as far as industry is concerned, now okay. we have so many so many opportunities like in our industry only we have so many opportunities like we are looking forward for that okay first one that is a microbiologist now see if if you are microbiologist so you can work with us or we can not only with us we can work with anyone who those has spirulina industry because in the spirulina microbiologist can play very important role as far as the all analysis is concerned all controlling is concerned on environmental conditions are concerned microbiology and biotechnology is the play very important role in the production of spirulina next is an analytical chemistry as i told you like uh, if you want to see the composition of the um, spirulina or if you want if you want to do the any projects of spirulina with the chemistry or with the chemical challenge what we say that analytical challenge so there the chemistry people are required so that's what i i gave it like heading that analytical chemistry then engineers are also helpful in the spirulina industry to maintain the engineer uh, to maintain engineering engineers <coughs> engines of the industry now see as i told you the production of spirulina it's uh, too much too much complex because if 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 something get wrong or if something got wrong then all all batch will fail all batch will fail so it is like uh, it is like we are in the hell only so we have to maintain all conditions very good that's what the engineers are uh, needed over there they can maintain the conditions they can maintain the condition with the help of engine what the engines we have next the pharmacists the pharmacists are more most important one because see the pharmacists are concerned that as far as indian pharmacopeia is concerned the pharmacists have to have to enter in the industry like in the especially in the food industry because we can go for the go for the any pharmaceutical uh, uh, challenge as far as pharmacy is concerned now see the last month only last month only our the modi like uh, prime minister modi declared that spirulina as a like as a way to boost food okay there any graduates can work over there in the spirulina industry but see the uh, for the topic how we can give interview how we can go there how we can uh, approach them and all that so this is other stuff but here what i want to tell you that opportunities like see, these for these people no there is opportunity to work with the spirulina industry or they can establish their own spirulina industry okay so this is uh, all about this today's presentation